Today is another book review day and this week I have been reading The Method by Yuli Zer, translated into the English from German by Sally Ann Spencer. So as usual I'll read you the blurb and then uh, we'll have a little discussion. Okay, so Mia Hull lives in a state governed by the method, where good health is the highest duty of the citizen. Everyone must submit medical data and sleep records to the authorities on a monthly basis, and regular exercise is mandatory. Mia is young and beautiful, a successful scientist who is outwardly obedient, but with an intellect that marks her as subversive. Convinced that her brother has been wrong wrongfully convicted of a terrible crime, Mia comes up against the full force of a regime determined to control every aspect of its citizens' lives. The method, set in the middle of the 21st century, deals with pressing questions. To what extent can the state curtail the rights of the individual? And does the individual have a right to resist? Yuli Zhe has written a thrilling and visionary book about our future and our present. I really like dystopian novels. I like how I like seeing how people view the world and how people view the future kind of based on what is happening now and how people think the future will be in relation to the downward spiral of society as it is now. Um so uh Brave New World, nineteen eighty four, Handmaid's Tale, three of the classic uh, dystopian novels, um, where the government is quite totalitarian. They believe that what they say is right, there's no sense of democracy, and we all just have to slot in line, fit in, do as we're told, and we don't really get a chance to rebel. Well not necessarily rebel but um, be an individual. And this um, novel, The Method, is another one in a similar vein. However, from... I don't want to say nothing really happens in this book, but nothing really happens in this book. Um, I, I picked this book up about a year or so ago from the library because the the blurb um interested me and i just never got around to reading it and i bought it back um and i thought no I'm, I'm going to read it so i took it out again and from the blurb um you can tell uh the, the main character is mia and she had a brother called maurice who was convicted of um sexually assaulting and murdering a woman and under the method, which is the, the government of the day in this book, um, they take physical evidence as fact straight away and they don't investigate things. So they found um, Moritz's DNA on the woman's body, therefore he must have killed her. And if anyone watches CSI as much as I do... <laughs> you know how easy it is to plant DNA samples um, through, well, through a, a lot of ways, you know, you, you can steal people's hair, you can, oh, you you know, twins, I don't know, you can you can do a lot with DNA, but in, under the, the method, under this, this government regime, um, finding his DNA on the woman's body was proof that he killed her and he was sent to prison and in prison he killed himself. And Mia is is just traumatised. She loved her brother deeply and she's lost a part of her life and she doesn't know what to do. And the method, um, under the method, everyone is healthy, everyone is fit. You don't smoke, you don't drink, you don't do anything to your body that could affect it in a negative way. Um, you submit data to the government um, regarding your sleep patterns, um, regarding your poo. <laughs> Gillian McKeith would, would quite like that, I think. Um, so you have to provide samples of bodily fluids just to make sure that you've got all your nutrients, that you're eating properly, that you're doing the right amount of exercise, you have exercise materials in your home um, that collects, you know, how many minutes you've been using it for, what you've been doing. Um, <clears throat> and it just, although I can understand it, because we live in a world now where everyone is so unhealthy that if 
being healthy was compulsory we'd all be a lot fitter i mean i'm, I'm suffering with a cold at the moment not that that's <laughs> the worst thing that could happen but we are so unhealthy we, we we don't live healthy lives so i could can understand the the reason behind the methods madness um but it doesn't allow for times of grieving or times of uh wanting to be alone or to think um because you're not taking care of yourself you're just retreating and this is what Mia does she um she's lost her brother she thinks completely unfairly she doesn't believe that her brother killed um this woman and she like anyone when anything traumatic happens in our lives we retreat we do things that aren't particularly good for us we might drink too much we might eat too much we might you know you know sleep all day or not sleep at all and this is what Mia's doing. And they find out that uh, something is wrong because she's not submitted her data. Um, and she gets taken to court uh, because she is breaking the laws of the method um, by not uh, treating her body properly and not not submitting her, her sleep patterns, etc, etc. And that's kind of that happens within the first couple of chapters and then it just feels like you're waiting for something else to happen and it's just Mia going to court um being questioned uh having people <coughs> treat her differently because of the way that she's behaving no one seems to understand that she just wants to grieve she wants to be alone with the thoughts of her brother she wants to just she wants to leave society for a while get over it and when she's over it she'll come back um she says many times she says i just want to be on my own i just want to be alone i don't want to do anything and nobody can kind of understand because of this this regime the, the way the way that people are supposed to live and so she's in court and she's out of court and it just it feels very stilted and nothing really happens until the last few chapters which i won't say anything about because i don't like giving away the endings it is worth it in the end um and while i was reading it and thinking oh nothing nothing is really happening and i and i found myself kind of scanning i then realized it was it's just a it's a it's a really deep social commentary it's um it's quite funny reading it like myself i've got a bit of a cold i've been quite ill i've had problems with my teeth um and i've been all blah with with cold and everything and there's a section in there about illness and how people who are ill use their illness for sympathy and they use it to um, get people's attention, which, although we can't help being ill, we kind of do when we are a bit ill. Like, oh, oh, I'm so ill. And we want lots of attention and we lots, want lots of sympathy. And, um, and this the method it denies the people's right to illness and there's a group of people the people's right to illness who um want to go against the the society uh the, the regime in the society and um and and let themselves be ill because that's all part of being human we you know we oh there's a book oh, there's a moth oh my goodness sorry that just terrified me for a second oh um where was I? Um, oh, oh, I really don't like them. Um, right, so, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the people's right to illness, um, and Mia agrees with it a little bit because she thinks that people should, should be ill and should, things should be wrong with the body. It shouldn't just be a perfect thing all the time. Um, so yeah, so, so it, it does talk about the way that people behave in society and um, and how the government deals with it and how people deal with it and and it almost feels like in some cases and with a lot of novels like this, a lot of dystopian novels, that everyone is being brainwashed and everyone is being forced into believing that something is right and we're losing our ability to think and to um, to learn for ourselves we take things on face value and even in today's society um we we read the news or we see the news 
and we believe everything straight away and we don't check things out for ourselves and we don't um, investigate things for ourselves and it, it can the society and government can overwhelm and take over if if we don't think for ourselves and Mia in this book is a character who she wants to be herself she doesn't want to do everything that she's told to do she even if it means dying she is happy to just be herself and just get on with things so like i say action happens at the beginning and action happens at the end of this book the middle is is social commentary and um it just draws on uh, people's behaviours and people's thoughts and, and reasons for things. So if you're not interested really in kind of the philosophical side of um, dystopia, perhaps this isn't the book for you. I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. I thought it would be a little bit more um, interesting. Well, I can't say it wasn't interesting. I do like social commentary, but I thought there'd be a bit more action, but it was just in of court, in court, out of court, in court, out of court. Um, I wouldn't say don't read it. If you do like dystopian novels, then then do read this because it's an, it's another one to add to the list. Um, and uh, yeah, so I, I did enjoy it, um, but not as much as I thought I would, which was a shame. Um, but yeah, give it a go um, and let me know if you have read it. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought. Um, I try to put out new videos every week, except when I'm ill oh god <laughs> woke is me um so if you would like to hear more of my book reviews then please subscribe to my channel like i said i try to put out new videos every week i also do videos about writing writing advice and a bit of shameless self-promotion talking about my own books uh so if you're bookish or writerly and that's the kind of thing you're interested in then please subscribe to my channel and um have a good day and i will see you soon Bye bye